What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. So the first of the three Bungie streams has not long ended and today we learn about the new things to do come April 12th when the next major content update hits. The stream featured a lot of new info some of which I will cover in videos to come but here and now I just want to give you guys all the major info we learned from the first of these three streams okay so we now know that the new increased light score will be a 335 so that's a 15 score increase not as much as i did think would come to be honest so what about the new things to do which they revealed in this stream well we will be getting new bounties new quest lines there's a new mission there's also a new strike they've also given the prison of a facelift bringing it to end game levels and they've also added a new challenge mode for end game players. They've also brought back an original strike that being the winter's run aka the Arkham Priest but this time it's taken style. Now this update and the majority of the PvE content for this update centres back on the Reef and with Varix. Varix has been imprisoned and taken within the Prison of Elders so when we do play this new and improved Prison of Elders that's what we will face. There will be new mechanics and new challenges to come with it. Now we will check out more of the Prison of Elders later in the video. Let's move on to the quests. So the quest with the update sent with Varix but Sony players will get an exclusive quest via Petra. But let's look at the new quests available to all. So the first new quest line is called At The Gates. Now with Oryx being dead, the Taken need a new main man. His name is Moloch. With this quest we get the new mission called Pretender to the Throne, where we go and find and face off against Moloch. How far and deep this quest goes, at the moment we don't know. The second quest is called Return to the Prison. Here to start we will be directed towards the new Prison of Elders, which has been brought up to a level 41 for all us endgame players. But I do believe it goes further than the Prison of Elders. Now before we get into the new and improved Prison of Elders, let's lastly talk about the original strike being brought back with a revamp. The strike is the winter's run. This strike will pop up within the heroic strike playlist with unique rewards obtainable. The winter's run was home to maybe my favourite strike boss, that being the Arkham Priest. Let's take a look at him as a taken combatant. Okay so on to the biggie and the main part of the April update which is the Prison of Elders. Well first off the original Prison of Elders is still intact for all those new players who have not yet encountered Skullus in his original form. Now the new stuff is as follows. We have this new Prison of Elders encounter which is a new and improved level of 41. This is also match made so if you play without a team do not threat. So this mode is basically the original level 28 version with 4 random bosses. What's interesting with this though is within this mode there is also a taken variant which plays out at a 50-50. So sometimes within this mode you will face off against original Prison of Elders bosses and other times you will face off against taken bosses. Within this mode you'll be able to unlock a chest upon completion and the amazing thing is, well actually two amazing things, you can run this as many times as you want within a week and keep collecting that loot and you also no longer need a key to open a chest at the end which in my opinion was the worst thing about the original Prison of Elders. Within this mode as well you will also earn Vanguard Marks. Rewards from this version though I can confirm will only help you hit that 320 light score. Once 320 has been hit which is a recommended light score for what awaits which is the new Prison of Elders challenge mode, the challenge of the Elders. This is a level 42 arena. To enter this mode you will need to purchase a challenge of the Elders entry from Varix on the Reef which costs you 100 glimmer. Let's take a closer look at what this is. You can see it states earn points and win favour in challenge of the elders. We can see you have a high score which is 30,000 and a cumulative score of 90,000. The high score of 30,000 is a score tally you and your team must hit within the challenge of elders. Your whole team score count towards your goal of 30,000. The cumulative score is your score but not as an individual so to speak but you can tally it up to 90,000 by running the challenge of the elders as many times as it takes with as many different people as you want. For an example you run it once 
once and get a total team score of 30,000 and then run it again with different people and get a total team score of 25,000. You will then have a cumulative score of 55,000. The entry bought from Valix only lasts one week and the rewards are as follows. For the high score of 30,000 once achieved, you will receive up to a 335 light score weapon. For the cumulative score, you will receive up to a 335 light score armor so that is how you get up to a 3-3 max light score it's by running the challenge of the elders week in week out it's important to note though that each week the challenge of the elders will have three schools aka modifiers one of these schools will be a score bonus on stream we saw that it was precision kill bonus so precision kills give you more score towards your targets of 30 and 90k each week the score bonus will change, there are 4 individual score bonuses, but then paired with the other 2 modifiers there are a possible 16 different challenge variants in total, so 4 months worth. It's also important to note that, that this is not matchmaking so you will need to find a team. Another thing with the score modifiers, I believe as the rounds go up, the score obtainable for that increased point modifier increases. More about Challenge of the Elders, it's a 3 round activity made up of 8 different bosses. There is no treasure room at the end, Challenge of the Elders is purely for score, for your entry, which is your form of rewards here. Like I said it's 3 rounds but these rounds are timed at 5 minutes. Once that time is up, Valix starts to take away your score. Also as well as score for killing, a bonus score for whatever the modifier is, in this case it was precision kills, you also get points towards your score for orbs created. I am coming to an end of the video now but just to add, there will be 3 weekly bounties available via Varix which will give you House of Judgment rep and experience. These bounties are for the new Prison of Elders mode and also the Challenge of the Elders. But that is it I believe guys, that's what I and we have learnt via the stream of what to do come April 12th. Next week we get to see what we can earn, which I am super pumped for. What I will do now is go through the stream once again and see if I've missed any minor details which I think are worth covering. Which I may have missed to be honest. But guys I hope you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Tell me what you think about the return of Prison of Elders and what it might offer. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.